Hello everyone, my name is Kayla Sponagle. I am from Halifax, Nova Scotia, and today we will be reading Everyone's Way of the Cross. The reason that we've decided to make this video is because annually the Life Team program at St. John Paul the 23rd in Colby Village usually does a live Stations of the Cross. And so this year, to keep the tradition alive, we will be reading it and making the video. I hope you enjoy. So before we start our stations, we're going to sing the song Lead Me to the Cross. Um, this song we generally sing between each station, but because we're doing things a little bit differently, we're just going to sing it before. Um, and just remember, singing is praying twice, so sing along with me. These 14 steps that you are now about to walk, you do not take alone. I walk with you. 
Though you are you, and I am I, yet we are truly one, one Christ. And therefore, my way of the cross, 2,000 years ago, and your way now, are also one. But note this difference. My life was incomplete until I crowned it by my death. Your 14 steps will only be complete when crowned by your life. The first station. Jesus is condemned. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In Pilate's hands, my other self, I see my father's will. Though Pilate is unjust, he is the lawful governor, and he has power over me. And so the Son of God obeys. If I can bow to Pilate's rule, because this is my father's will, can you refuse obedience to those whom I've placed over you? My Jesus Lord, obedience cost you your life. For me it costs an act of will, no more. And yet how hard it is for me to bend. Remove the blinders from my eyes, that I may see that it is you whom I obey. In all who govern me, Lord, it is you. The second station. Jesus takes his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This cross, this chunk of tree, is what my Father chose for me. The crosses you must bear are largely products of your daily life, and yet my Father chose them too. For you. Receive them from his hands. Take heart, my other self. I will not let your burdens grow one ounce too heavy for your strength. My, my Jesus, Jesus Lord, I take my daily cross. I welcome the monotony that often marks my day. Discomforts of all kinds, the summer's heat, the winter's cold, my disappointments, tensions, setbacks, cares. Remind me often that in carrying my cross, I carry yours with you. And though I bear a sliver only of your cross, you carry all of mine except a sliver in return. The third station, Jesus Falls. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The God who made the universe and holds it in existence by his will alone becomes a man. Too weak to bear a piece of timber's weight. How human in his ex weakness is the Son of God. My Father willed it thus. I could not be your model otherwise. If you would be my other self, you, would, you also must accept without complaint your human frailties. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, how can I refuse? I willingly accept my weaknesses, my irritations, and my moods, my headaches and fatigues, all my defects of body, mind, and soul, because they are your will for me. These handicaps of my humanity, I gladly suffer them. Make me content with all my discontents, but give me strength to struggle after you. The fourth station. Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My mother sees me whipped. She sees me kicked and driven like a beast. She counts my every wound. But though her soul cries out in agony, no protest or complaint escapes her lips, or even enters her thoughts. She shares my martyrdom, and I share hers. We hide no pain, no sorrow from each other's eyes. This is my Father's will. My Jesus Lord, I know what you are telling me, to watch the pain of those we love. It's harder than to bear our own. To carry my cross after you, I too must stand and watch the sufferings of my dear ones, the heartaches, sicknesses, and grief of those I love. And I must let them watch mine too. 
I do believe, for those who love you, all things work together unto good. The fifth station. Simon helps Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My strength is gone. I can no longer bear the cross alone. And so the legionnaires make Simon give me aid. This Simon is like you, my other self. Give me your strength. Each time you lift some burden from another's back, you lift as with your own very hands the cross is awful weight that crushes me. Lord, make me realize that every time I wipe a dish, pick up an object off the floor, assist a child in some small task, or give another preference in traffic or the store, each time I feed the hungry, clothe the naked, teach the ignorant, or lend my hand in any way, it matters not to whom. My name is Simon, and the kindness I extend to them, I really give to you. The sixth station. Veronica helps Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Can you be brave enough? my other self, to wipe my bloody face. Where is my face, you ask? At home, whenever eyes fill up with tears. At work, when tension rises. On playgrounds, in the slums, the courts, the hospitals, the jails. Wherever suffering exists, my face is there. And there, I look for you to wipe away my blood and tears. Lord, Lord what, what you ask, ask is hard. It, it calls for courage and self-sacrifice, and, and I am weak. Please give me strength. Don't let me run away because of fear. Lord, Lord live, live in, in me, and act in me, and, and love in me, me and not in me alone, in all, all of us, so that we may reveal no more, more your bloody, but, but your glorious face on earth. The Seventh Station Jesus falls again. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This seventh step, my other self, is one that tests your will. From this fall, learn to persevere in doing good. The time will come when all your efforts seem to fail and you think, I can't go on. Then turn to me, my heavy-laden one, and I will give you rest. Trust me and carry on. Give, give me your courage, courage Lord, when, when failure, failure presses heavily on me, and I am desolate. Stretch out your hand to lift me up. I know I must not cease, but persevere in doing good. But help me, Lord. Alone there's nothing I can do. With you I can do anything you ask. I will. The Eighth Station Jesus consoles the women. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. How often had I longed to take the children of Jerusalem and gather them to me, and, but they refused. But now these women weep for me, and my heart mourns for them, mourns for their sorrows that will come. I comfort those who seek to solace me. How gentle can you be, my other self? How kind. My Jesus, your compassion in your passion is beyond compare. Lord, teach me, help me learn. When I would snap at those who hurt me with their ridicule, those who misunderstand or hinder me with some misguided helpfulness, those who intrude upon my privacy, then help me curb my tongue. May gentleness become my cloak. Lord, make me kind like you. 